I'd like to state that Michael goes up one second off the time limit, adding that to the total amount of seconds over his 13 and, and I will not violate the rules. Rather, the judge either consider this as a violation of the rules or disregard 13 seconds of, of Michael's speech. He blames it on thoughts, however, ultimately he's still 30, 13 seconds over, even though. Michael states in his response to the claim I made to his response to his Irish slavery, he responds that I'll be handing out money to every something African American, so that's too universal. However, I specifically stated Irish and Native Americans and African Americans only because and because they only they were the deserved the reparations. And I also stated this topic was not relevant to the resolution and he dropped that point. Michael dropped my point about socioeconomic status and how that'll be affected. And Michael responds to my second contention by saying that there will be negative repercussions of what we introduced 10 trillions into the economy. This is false and Michael does not provide any source at all for uh, for this uh, for his arguments. However, my arguments and sources are much stronger and more credible than Michael's sources, which he barely states in his speech. How can I know what Michael has any credibility? Um, if Michael has any credibility, what if there are, are simply false claims and critiques of my and false critiques? Unlike what my, uh, Michael said, inflation goes up when we distribute the money. However, inflation does not go up when the government distributes money, or else welfare or social security would increase the value of the dollar every time they uh, the government. Uh, rewarded that money according to my definition which me and michael have both agreed to since he he has not responded or provided a counter definition is providing house and it's uh both agrees to amends for wrongs or injury done, and Michael's counterplan is providing house vouchers and tax credits fall, they, but they both fall under the category of reparations and making the opposition counterplan have affirmative grounds, and therefore I should win this debate. Thank you, Judge, and thank you, Michael, for participating in this debate with me.